Well, we're going to give uh, Kablooey a little test here on the mowing deck. I found a belt at home, but it's not the right length. It's a little bit too short. And the same thing is kind of happening as it did on the case. The, the mule drive pulley is back too far, and it makes the belt flip. So there we are, a new, a new learning thing, I guess. Once the pulleys are offline, then that's it over the belt goes but anyway it's, it's it runs and it works uh, I'm just going to try and cut a little bit of grass just to see how if, the, if it made any difference with the seven inch pulley on it instead of the six and if it does well then I'm going to go and get a an 85 inch and an 86 inch belt what I have on now is an 84 Originally, with the original pulley, it had an 83. And I did measure the 7 to the 6 pulley, and I knew that there was a 2 inch difference. But uh, I happened to have this 84 inch belt at home, so I thought I'd try that. And I was just able to get it on, and that was it. But like I say, the, uh, the idler pulley is, is too far back and not lined up with the engine pulley, so it flips the belt. But it should be good enough to uh, test it just to see if it'll work. So I'm going to do a little bit right here because it's kind of light going here, which they did do this before. And then I'm going to go and find some other grass that's definitely wet today and uh, be, might be long might not be, but anyway, even straight ahead here is kind of longer and wet. But anyway, I'll have to rev her up and, and uh, we'll give her a go here and see what happens. throws the grass out not too bad anyway.
that worked pretty good. It's not completely perfect, but it worked a lot better than it has. So the difference of going from a 6 inch pulley to a 7, uh, it may put a difference in the way it cut. Or I should say, uh, the power it had. But I didn't really have to slow down a whole lot. One spot there where I kind of had to slow down because I could hear the engine slowing down a little bit, but that's pretty heavy uh, wet grass right there. And I had not too much trouble with that, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm going to get myself a proper belt for it now and uh, just like changing rear end gears in the car makes quite a difference. All right, we're going to shut her off with that. Quick little video on the Kablooey mowing deck upgrade. Alright, goodbye now. Well, good afternoon again, viewers, and I'm back again as usual. <laughs> um, I used Kablooey again with the deck, and I was just down the side of the driveway and back up, and we went down with the uh, 1210 there in the trailer and the long extended hand uh, saw and cut off some limbs down at the end of the driveway and we got them taken up and put into the woods and so I used the, the bluey again there like I say to cut the grass and it seems to be working pretty good and I think like that heavy grass over there by the in front of the black truck down there that was that was pretty heavy stuff, and it worked not too bad. A little bit of, I'd say it's 80% better than it was. Let's put it that way. So it's usable, I'd say. And I may have to uh, adjust the height a little bit, up a little bit more. It kind of looks like it's a little short. But anyway, and that would help out a bit too. So we uh, continued on splitting wood here today, and that pile is done. Done, done, done. And uh, we got a nice pile of split wood here. Anyway, that splitter, you know, as I say, it's awful slow, but, but uh, my son was helping me today, so. It's fast enough that he said that he could just barely keep up loading the wood on the tray there. So that's pretty good, I think. Yes. You do that for very long, you get tired out quick, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, so it's it's fast enough for what we need. Like I say, it's only, I had it run a 2200 RPM again today, and so that's, uh, a full 20 inch stroke from there to here this way and that way is 24 seconds but you don't use that full stroke in most cases and in some cases I was doing two pieces of wood at a time and sometimes depend on the size I was doing three pieces of wood splitting them at the same time anyway, it's fast enough for you have somebody loading you. It. It's just non-stop. I had no waiting for wood. And like he said, he was just, he was just keeping up with me and that was it. <laughs> so, that's great. Now we got this stuff to deal with. And, uh, and this stuff to deal with. And then we'll be on to that pile or that pile or get into cleaning this up here so tomorrow as uh, my son is off from work tomorrow we took an extra day off so hopefully we can get some more done 
anyway, things are moving ahead. That's great. That's it's great to see progress, and uh, I'm really quite happy with the bluey the way it's working. So not perfect, but pretty good. So we'll uh, we'll leave it at that, I guess. So take my pick a room. Few more hunks and chunks, and we're going to call her a day. So have a great day wherever yours are at and whatever yours are doing. And I guess now that I think of it, I can show you. There is two cruise ships in today. And if you can see. Either there or not. There's the front of one there, I think. Right there. And then there's another one. And that's the back end of the other one. If I can find where I'm at here. Yeah. So, it looks like they might be starting. That's that's what they normally do this time of year. Oops. Zoom, zoom, zoom is on. So that really throws you for a loop, doesn't it? All right, so uh, that's going to be it then. Have a great day, uh, whatever you're doing or wherever you're at. Goodbye.